People have been steaming food for thousands of years. Once upon a time, steamers were made out of clay pots with perforated floors. Today, we've come up with all sorts of metal and plastic innovations. The traditional bamboo steamer is a perfect balance between the old and the new. Perfected by generations of craftsmen, traditional bamboo steamers are lightweight, strong, and durable. They look like simple cooking tools, but building them requires enormous artisanal skill. The craftsman buys lengths of bamboo from local farmers. He uses a traditional planer he crafted himself to smooth the bamboo joints. A customized chopper tool helps him split the bamboo lengthwise. He inserts a bamboo stick to hold the split open. After removing the chopper, he pulls on the stick to split the entire length of the bamboo. The craftsman splits the sections again. To assemble the steamer base, the craftsman will split the bamboo into 32 pieces. The cover will require 128 pieces. A custom-made knife knocks down the inner sections of the bamboo. For the steamer's cover, the craftsman splits the bamboo horizontally. Next, the craftsman uses this slicing tool to cut the wood. He sets the desired width and slices a thin sheet of wood lengthwise. He uses this section of wood to form the base of the steamer and slides a bamboo ring over it to hold it in place. Then he punches small holes with the drill and reinforces the joint with stainless steel wire. The installation process begins. First, by installing a series of inner rings, which will serve to reinforce the structure of the steamer and to support multiple levels of steamers inside it. The craftsman uses special techniques to ensure that each joint is perfectly aligned for maximum strength. Working almost entirely by hand with skills acquired over time, he meticulously creates a strong yet lightweight piece of kitchen equipment. The basket still needs a bottom to rest dumplings in. The craftsman begins building the basket floor by custom fitting a series of rugged cross pieces. He ensures that each piece fits perfectly before proceeding. Then he inserts thin, more pliable pieces of bamboo to hold the cross pieces in place. Next, he lays the final layer on top, placing the pieces with their outer sides facing up to form a smooth surface for food to sit on while steaming. With the floor of the steamer in place, it's time to secure the upper pieces by binding them to the support pieces. To do this, he threads a stainless steel wire through the cracks, twisting the ends tightly to the base. Then he gives the inner support rings under the steamer floor a few taps, securing them in place. The basket's base is now complete. Next, the craftsman begins weaving the bamboo pieces together that will form the cover. He uses a traditional pattern called a twill weave. Then he inserts paper before adding a second layer of bamboo. The paper will help prevent steam from escaping the basket too quickly. He then snaps in a series of carefully sized reinforcements to keep the layers in place. Finally, he custom fits another interior ring under the reinforcements to hold everything together, tapping it carefully into position. The steamer cover is now complete. 